If you're considering a move to Cambridge, Ontario, you might be wondering what are the best and worst neighborhoods within Cambridge? Well, in this video, we're gonna answer that question. All right, before we get started, looking at the best and worst neighborhoods here in Cambridge, Ontario, I'm gonna look at the map, give you a brief overview of Cambridge, and segment the three areas that make up the city. Now, if we take a look at the map here, Cambridge is kind of a, a very rectangular shape, it runs north to south in most cases, and there's three areas that make up Cambridge. First one here is the north side, which is Hespler, which is just north of the 401, great for commuters. The next one will be here on the western side. This is Preston. And then finally here we have Galt down in the southern area. And this right here makes up the bulk of the city of Cambridge. In this particular video, we do not have to look at this area really in particular. This right here is mostly going to be industrial as well as shopping centers. There are no neighborhoods within this area here. This is just south of the 401. Let's get right into the neighborhoods. Starting off with the first neighborhood here, we have what is known as Blair. Now, Blair is a great location. You're close to the highway. There's going to be a lot of mix within this particular area as it is basically the fourth major center within the city of Cambridge and as you can see it's right here located right near the highway and it's this area right here in fact and what you're going to find in this area are houses frankly built all over the place you can find homes built in the Victorian era as well as brand new construction estate homes there's one that sold in particular that I would like to highlight absolutely gorgeous if you're looking for a little bit of land and it's this one right here this right here sold for just over one million dollars nearly half an acre of land 1100 square feet built in 1965 so in this particular area you are going to be paying a little bit of a premium but of course you are paying for the location as well because you are located near the highway, which is right here, your two minute drive. You are located right beside Grand River and you're also located near Langdon Hall, which is an absolutely beautiful place to spend an evening with a partner or take the family to. It's more of a luxurious, a fair and it's absolutely gorgeous this little area right here called Langdon Hall moving on to the next location is Blair Road now Blair Road is just southeast of Blair located just west of Galt now Blair Road runs right along the Grand River this particular area you're gonna find a lot of elevation a lot of homes built within the 70s and 80s and another great community in addition to that there is a new project which is launching right now a brand new subdivision in this area here which is known as the westwood village preserve right here in this area this is going to consist of multiple builders it's a master plan community consisting of mostly townhomes as well as detached homes now looking back at blair what can you find in this particular area in terms of the housing well it's a little bit everywhere in terms of pricing as well as property in this area you will find homes in the 700s all the way up to two million dollars depending if it is a custom build one that recently sold which had excellent value in fact which i took a client through we did not put an offer on this place but I thought it was a fantastic home for the money, is this one right here. It sold for $835,000. Double car garage, side split home, built in the 1980s. Yes, it was original inside, but you're getting a lot of square footage. In terms of the square footage, you're at 2161 square feet above grade. It's gonna need work inside, but again, what you're getting here is a fantastic family-friendly neighborhood wider lots and this one in fact was 69 feet wide that's considered a double lot in today's industry as well there is new construction within this area just southwest of this particular property was this property that recently sold for 1.12 million dollars it's a detached double car garage with nearly 2500 square feet built in 2023 so if you are looking for new construction Blair Road and Westwood Village Preserve is an excellent option for you. Now, moving on to the next area here is Fiddlesticks. Now, Fiddlesticks is located on the far eastern side of Cambridge here. 
And what you're gonna find in this neighborhood is lots and lots of green space. As you can see on the map here, there is tons of green space. In the southern end here, you have what is known as Shades Mill Conservation Area. I used to go to this place quite often, especially for field trips back in the day when I was just a young lad. We definitely did spend a lot of time here in Shades Mill. As well on the eastern side, you do have Puss Lynch Lake here, which is absolutely gorgeous for all the nature lovers as well a fun fact justin bieber lives on puss lynch lake he does have a home there so that's pretty cool now what can you get in this particular area well homes here they're going to be on the larger side as well you're going to have larger lots a lot of homes built in the 80s and 90s and one that recently sold was this one right here which sold for nine hundred eighty eight thousand dollars four bedrooms three bathrooms nearly 2400 square feet above grade double car garage in terms of the interior absolutely gorgeous inside lots of renovations were done within this property so that's one excellent option in fiddlesticks hey my name is kevin amorm with remax real estate center i'm a local real estate agent here in the water the region and i get calls from people just like you wanting to relocate here to cambridge ontario if you want to book a call with me, you certainly can in the first link in the description or call, text, or email. The next neighborhood to look at here is just north of Fiddlesticks, and this is Hespler Village. Now, Hespler Village is absolutely idyllic for anybody that is looking to commute to Mississauga or Toronto. You have multiple entrances and exits. You are on the eastern bounds of not only Cambridge, but also Waterloo Region. You have one entrance and exit here, one here and if you are living on the western side of Hespler you have another entrance and exit here to Mississauga you're only about 40 to 45 minutes if you are living here in Hespler village now what do the streets look like here within the Hespler village area well you're going to find a lot of quiet residential streets a lot of homes built in the 1970s 1980s again being older properties you're going to have wider lots you're going to find things that are side splits back splits, detached two stories, bungalows, and all of the like. And one that recently sold within Hespler Village is this one right here, located on the eastern side of Hespler Village. So it's gonna be a bit more new than you would find in the traditional Hespler Village. But I thought this was an excellent example representative of this neighborhood, which is this home right here, which sold for $820,000. Built in 2002, just over 1,800 square feet above grade, with three bedrooms and three bathrooms. This is kind of what you'll find in Hespler Village. Absolutely fantastic for commuters going up and down the 401. Hespler is a great spot. Now looking at the worst neighborhoods here within the city of Cambridge, there are a few of them. Let's highlight the first one here, which is on the western side. This is gonna be Preston Heights. Now Preston Heights is a neighborhood predominantly built in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Now there is some benefits in this area in particular, of course, being one of the worst off neighborhoods, you're gonna have a lower price point. And in addition to that, there is new construction here with larger homes, as well as uh, more wealth coming into this area. You are in fact close to Conestoga College, uh, both the Kitchener campus, as well as the Cambridge campus. In addition to that, there are new sports fields right here, being built by Gateman Malloy. This is right here on Fountain Street, multiple soccer turf fields. So that's one thing to highlight in this area. It is getting quite good. And another great reason actually that, you know, this is a, a ripe area. If you are looking to, to raise a family in the future, yeah, you do have a little bit more crime, but there's so many benefits of living in Preston Heights actually. You do have the highway right here, as well as you do have another highway entrance and exit as well. Now, what can you find in this area? What, how far does your money get you? Well, quite far. In fact, if we take a look at one that recently sold here, this home right here is a townhouse, no condo fees whatsoever, and it sold for half a million dollars. And in fact, it had four bedrooms and one bathroom, which you can't really find anywhere else. I think this was an excellent buy. If you are somebody that's looking to invest, definitely a great option renting out a four bedroom townhouse. 
Yes, it's in a lower end neighborhood. It's not brand new, built pr probably within the 1970s, 20 feet by 70 depth, as well it's 1,234 square feet above grade. So Preston Heights, yeah, it's one of the worst neighborhoods, but at the same time, there's so many benefits actually to living in Preston Heights, like the aforementioned benefits. Now moving on to the next neighborhood to avoid, and that's gonna be Allison. And Allison has higher crime rates than most of Cambridge, Ontario. And within this neighborhood, you're gonna find a lot of homes built in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. On the whole part, yeah, you're gonna have a little bit more crime, but at the same time, yeah, this is a great place to invest as well, especially with the style of homes within this area being primarily bungalows, side splits, and back splits, very prominent during that time period, as this was the most efficient, the most beneficial to the people living of that time era. And what you can find in this neighborhood is a lot of potential duplex conversions going on within the city of Cambridge because of that style. You do have the side entrance that leads directly down to the basement, which is absolutely ideal if you are looking to complete a duplex conversion. A duplex conversion, obviously turning a house into two units. And the most easy way to do this would be either with a back split, but preferably with either a bungalow or raised bungalow. And you'll be able to find that in the neighborhood of Allison. Now, moving on to somewhat controversial here, this is gonna be East Galt. Now, East Galt, obviously located just east of downtown Cambridge or downtown Galt. Now, this area is both hit and miss. It's street by street. Some streets are better than others. Some streets are worse than others, but there's a lot of money coming into East Galt in particular. There's a lot of homes that were built, you know, in the 1910s, 1920s, all the way up to the 1950s and 60s as you are closer to downtown. The benefit of this area is you're getting a lot of homes that have been renovated or are ready to be renovated, in fact, and it's hit and miss. I might do a separate video really highlighting the exact areas within Galt and which ones you should avoid. We'll go street by street and I can tell you exactly what streets better than others. But one in particular, which is a great example of what's going on in this neighborhood, is this one that recently sold for $850,000 absolutely beautiful i actually went to this one as well with a client of mine we did not put an offer on it but they were very enamored with this property a little bit out of their price range but nonetheless beautiful home over 1900 square feet above grade they did have a large addition put onto the back extending the living space of the home completely done in concrete for the most part not much grass which is obviously very expensive interlock stone in the front absolutely beautiful they probably had interior design the interior was absolutely impeccable. So this is just one of the great examples here within the East Galt neighborhood. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, click the like button and subscribe.